Welcome to The Division, Tom Clancy's new game that is on, in beta right now, currently. In today's video, this is what I'm going to be showing you. I'm going to be showing you how to, or the beginner's guide to The Division. How to get up, how to rank up, how to get the best gear, where to get the best gear, and when to get it. So let's go ahead and hop right in. Alright, now here on my character, we're currently in the dark zone. These little boxes right here, they're restock boxes. They will stock you up fully on everything that you need, which is medikits, uh, grenades, ammo, ammo for all of your guns. This is the safe zone uh, vendor, which is in the dark zone. He sells the legendary weapons. Legendary weapons such as this, which has 490 damage, and this one has 3,296 damage. That's if you get really close, though. That's one for very close quarters. But those are for when you're the highest rank you can be. I'm gonna go ahead and exit out here through the window. We're gonna hit up the scaffolding and get out on the roads. Starting off, I'm gonna show you what's going on in the dark zone since I'm already here. Right down there, that's a player. See, it says non hostile agent, means he hasn't committed any crimes or shooting at other um, agents which is you. You are an agent. You're the division, part of the division. It is a very nice, um, what do you call it? Very nice surrounding. Very nice. I didn't notice that. That must be new. Now all those explosion stuff you hear, those are people fighting. Probably fighting the AI. And there's also rogues on the map. Rogues will appear in the top left there'll be a tiny red skull that'll lead you in the direction of where they are. Those are people you usually want to kill for the most points or Dark Zone credits. Dark Zone credits is how you buy the legendary weapons. Right now there are only two legendary weapons. I assume there'll be more in the full game. But here's a friend right here. Follow this guy. That little yellow pack underneath my backpack is Dark Zone items. When you're in the Dark Zone, you collect items, you can not equip them. You have to extract them out. Which extraction points are marked on the map as these right here. This extraction area, extraction area, or an extraction area over here. Those, once you get there, you're going to push F or hold down F, and that will shoot a flare into the air. Now, the danger in that is when people want to go rogue or want to be an enemy out there, those types of people hang around those areas waiting for someone to do that. Waiting for someone to call in an extraction to get their gear out. Now, someone just called in an extraction, so we're going to go over there and uh, show you what it's like. See right there on the right there, you see that arrow? That's where the extraction is. It says extraction progress, there's their flare. All the players know where it is. And we do have AI here. AI usually come when you start an extraction. They try and take out you take you out before you can extract your gear. They're called rioters. They're, they're like a gang of people in hoodies, pretty much. They're not that hard. Some of them are hard, but, uh, gotta try and stay in cover. You got a bird inbound on your this is an extraction area right here. It'll be marked with these lights and a helicopter pad. People can call it out of the extraction zone a little bit, but it has a range. Now I'm gonna try and find the guy who called in the extractions. No, it's not him. I was following him. It might be this guy right here. He's, he's got one of those little yellow backpack, little packs underneath. So usually when you call an extraction due to the rider, I mean the, the rogues, you're usually going to want to hide. And keep an eye on your surroundings. And if you see any rogues, you're going to probably want to fight them. Try and take them out, get the element of surprise. Now do you see this line right here, this little uh, squiggly line going over there, uh, that other wall right there. If you hold down control, it'll make your character automatically do whatever he has to do to get over there. Actually, for you, it'll be hold down space because you'll have to rebind the keys. Now, my stash is full, so I won't be able to extract my gear. That's what they do. They put their pads, their little uh, things on the hooks, their little packs, and then it has a timer, so in 10 seconds it's going to suck those right up and take them back to their stash. That's the only way to get them out of the hazard zone or the dark zone. Oh, wait here. 
can't see that go up. There it goes. And helicopter is going to fly. Oh, someone's going rogue on me. And that is what a rogue is. We got a first hand experience. Let's see, what did I lose? I lost a laminate bag and a tyrant, tyrant suppressor. Those are all right. They're blue items. Blue items are in the higher category. Now if I want to respawn, I can respawn at the check either of these checkpoints. Uh, a higher threat. This is one of the Dark Zone vendors. Now I'm going to show you how the re restock box works. So usually at every gate. That's all I needed was four ammo. So hold down F. Take talk to her. She has a first wave PF45, that's all right. A purple item, those are pretty good. Laminate bag, interesting. Up in the top right corner, you can see that little eight. And with the little progress bar right there, I am almost a full level eight. Right now, that is the highest level that you can be. And that is that goes up in and out of the dark zone. Backup activated. System rebooted. Go... Yeah, okay. So that goes up mainly out of the dark zone. You do missions outside the dark zone. Watch this guy. That was the one who went rogue on me. But since he probably just died, he's not a rogue anymore. So therefore you can't attack him. Sometimes they do have revenge. Like you're able to still attack them, but very rarely. So now we got some AI over here. See this? They have little light beams. That's how you pick up gear. See, I almost just went rogue there. He drops a blue item. It is a laminate holster and a reflex sight. Unfortunately, I don't need that. Blue items are dropped more when you're at a higher level. Um, they're pretty rare when you're at a lower level. And also, the game is like a, has a matchmaking system in it when you go into the dark zone. If you're in a party with a lower level, you can be together outside of the dark zone doing missions and stuff like that and fighting rioters. But um, in the dark zone, it will not let you play with each other. It will pair you with your bracket, which um, up above, right to the right of the map up there, it says D dark zone player bracket. I'm eight of eight. So I'm at the highest bracket. You can talk in game by holding down C. Usually it's de for default, it's set to open mic. So you might have to rebind that. Hey bud. See any rogues or oh there's a rogue. Wanna go get him? Let's go get him. I'm gonna go find this rogue that was over here. You can see a rogue on the map as a little red skull that'll appear and you just follow that direction. It disappeared now, which makes me think he is no longer rogue, which his timer went out. But usually if you get close enough to them... Okay, we got some AI up here. AI spawn randomly all over the place. Just really basic. If you clear them out, they'll take a little bit and then they'll come back. Some of the weapon sites will let you look down them. Um, others will just put like a red dot in the middle of your um, default site. This is my healing gun. That you have to do a medical mission outside of the dark zone. This guy would be easy to, easy to kill. 
Let's see what we got here. Laminate vest. Oh. Around for some. The gray ones are usually dark zone points. The gray light beams. The blue ones are always loot. I'm gonna head over to this extraction. See what's going on. Whoa. Also, my man, my, uh, my character has uh, insane hops. If you just might have seen that, you know, he's pretty much a pro. I'm gonna head over here to this extraction and see what we can do. I'm gonna take out my sniper rifle. Since it was called in. Levi, four minutes. These little green ropes are all over the place. You can use them to get up uh, to rooftops quicker. Alright, so I don't really know what these guys are doing. A little bit odd that they're all just sitting over there. They have some... They found spray paint. That's how they got their weapons that color. They found spray paint around the map. Do these guys have the legendary weapon? That is the Cadasis, or... I want to say Cadus, but it's not Cadus. This one has... M1. M1A. He has that. Looks like an M1A again. And looks like another M1A. Okay. I have the M4. Let's see what I, which one was that? <laughs> the classic M44 carbine. Although this contaminated zone down here, which is really walled off, does not hold rioters. It holds, um... The name gets me and gets away from me, but, um... They're a higher level. They're like a militarized um, gang. There's no entry. Go ahead and enter through this. Morning. Now entering a contaminated area. Now we're in the contaminated zone. Quarantined off. So this is where the sick, the disease is, mainly where it started. It doesn't look like they're here right now. You do Looks like the mission is not active. Wait, what? yes it is. You back up. There's one right there. No way, one. Oh. One almost saw me right there. I don't want to start this fight quite yet. But I'm going to show you what it's like, guys. Here we go. It's going to be a long fight. Where'd he go now? quick he's down their boss is gonna be coming out soon there's their boss right there now this is where things get dangerous This is where I get off that because he's about to flame throw me. Big boss down. All right. Can use a pressing V to use a medikit. Whip this out again. Can't really hit him. Okay, so they're all hiding right now. Shot. 
Headshot. He dropped a blue, but their boss did not drop anything. That'll happen sometimes. That's okay. One of them usually drops a, a blue item. Well, as long as he doesn't play. If you look up, you can throw the uh, <laughs> grenades for longer distances. Is that upstairs? Is that upstairs? Yeah, that upstairs. Another one down with another blue item. Alright, we're getting lots here. You gotta watch for players too. Players could come from behind you. These yeah, rolled players could. Let's see. What's the fuck on? Another one down. And each kill you do get dark zone points, which just add up. But when you die in the dark zone, you do lose points. So it looks like we have two left. I'm gonna go up here. Down. Headshots usually get the most damage done as well. I'm gonna go ahead and rush this last guy then. Is there any last guy? Always want to double check the area because if these guys get a clean hit on you, they do um, immense damage. They can take you down so easily if you let them. Let's see what this guy had. Heavy duty bag. All right, there we got another guy that might go rogue right down there. Heavy duty bag, and this one has a heavy duty mask. Back again. Nothing really I need. Ooh. Oh, what the fuck? So I'm gonna go ahead and get into my position. Now leaving the contaminated area. Which with this extraction point right up here, this is a popular one, at least in the beta right now. I assume the map will be a lot bigger when the full game releases. But in the beta right now, this is a popular PvP zone. A lot of people are trying to yep, see someone just extracted right there. They're calling an extraction. So I'm gonna go ahead and get up right across the street from them at a higher level and use my sniper rifle on them. All right, here we go. There's one right there. Bullshit. There's more than one. We're He's laying down. He's laying down the ground. Warning. You've disavowed the division. This action. And I'm already down. That's terrible. What kind of... He must have had these citizens running around in need. You can help them out. You're gonna press F to give him some stuff, you gain XP for that. He's over, he's over. And she gave me a right. cool something jacket. Pop, pop, pop out, pop out. Also, if you see there cell phones or laptops like this laying around, you go over to them, hold F, and you'll gain 300 XP. For um, here, if you're outside of the dark zone, you can look around and try and find um, side right. missions. Right here we have RC, that's one of my friends. Another friend is over here. This is the main camp right here. Camp Hudson, like the hub. You can fast travel to that, which I'll show you. I'll show you guys that. Fast travel, you click on it, you push X, and then you push space to confirm your fast travel. It'll take a little bit, but it's a lot better than running all that way. Lots of different uh, vendors yeah, here, lots of different missions and stuff. I assume there'll be a Whoa. lot more when the full wow. game comes out. This is where, this is the weapons vendor. You can find friends, find agents that are mad, that are Close to you. God, I love that game now. <laughs> Alright, now you can talk to this guy. He they have some things you can buy. A Magnum? You know what? I'm gonna buy a Magnum. I don't want an equip. I'm gonna see if they have M M1 A. Which they don't. They have a scar. Damage on that 393. Magnum has a lot of damage. Not a deal. Thank you very much. That guy's smoking. 
I think. But yeah, there's a lot of like, there's also things around the map called Echoes. And those you can go in and it will download, it will like basically download to your circles, your orange circles, your beacons. And it will display a 3D like hologram thing. It will have audio with it telling a story about what happened there. This is a memorial. All of those lost. It's actually pretty cool. I've never seen this before. Honor of our heroes. Civilians who are unsure of their medical status are encouraged to remain at home and wait for medical attention. Follow shelter in place precautions and report to emergency medical centers only when smallpox is confirmed. They have a lot of uh, immersive stuff in this game. I like it. You don't really get to choose a server. In this game, it's called instances. It'll pair you wherever it wants with whatever level with whatever level you are that it deems suitable. Over here. This is my stash. Now we're gonna go check it. It says stash is empty, which is a little bit weird. But let's see what we can do here. Can I add something to the stash? And the stash. that over here you can read uh that's kind of cool map update complete it updates your map see what it did there's an encounter over here secure a hostile stronghold we're gonna go to that we're gonna go over to this uh encounter we're gonna go secure that hostile stronghold now i assume if it's a stronghold it might be just the rioters but it also could be the other guys the more intense militarized men that basically go around torching everyone so we're gonna head on over there see what we can do we're gonna test out our magnum Now out here, out of the dark zone, you don't have to worry about other players attacking you. That's not allowed out here. Out here, you have to just worry about the AI units and helping people. Also, um, you can team up with other players to take on missions like the one I'm going to right now. And it's a, it's a pretty fun time. This game, there's not really too much to do right in the beta. But it's got good potential. I would recommend it to you guys, I'd recommend it. I'm going to be pre-ordering it here. I'm going to go ahead and run over here. Another thing I want to show you here is another... The red line right now is what the beta is allowing. But the beta is going to allow for players to use. See, the dark zone is really small, but really the dark zone is this big. And out here, I assume this is where the full game line is. Or it'll end, so it is a lot bigger than what we're exploring right now. See, right over here, right in that building, that is uh, this red line. This is not where beta is. Leaving beta area, return. Okay, if you don't return in time and let the timer run out, it's going to just take you back to base. This game, their graphics are surprisingly good. This is uh, a really interesting kind of MMO. Alright, here we go, we're getting into it. Oh, there they are. This damage is not exactly what I wanted it to be. And they're really good at shooting. Okay, 
the shot. He's only level four, so they're gonna be really easy. Now here comes their boss. Easy. Basically, what you are is one flashbang grenade I gained, one tear, gra tear gas grenade, and something. Can you tell me? So this was their uh, their stronghold. Yep, they had automotive. They had a, a garage, pretty much. That's what they had. Oh, and these boxes you can find around the map. You see that purple, that purple uh, icon right in the middle of the map there. If you find those around the maps, you can go into buildings and then look at these boxes, which do give you some okay items. This one didn't give me a really good one, but uh, I'll take it. You can sell them at the vendors and the, the bases and stuff. You can shoot rats, and they'll die. Birds, yep, there we go. Alright, so we got some AI down here. Didn't expect them to go down that fast. Switch to my close quarters. Check it out, make sure everyone every one of them's dead. These rioters don't deserve to live. Got another one. They'll sometimes come out of nowhere with bats. He has a legendary weapon, so he's getting more damage off than I am. 